everyone. Uh, my name is Yogita Patil and today I'm going to bring to you a video about uh, the new multi-cloud uh, operations view that we, we have come up with in the April 2023 release of the VMware ARIA operations product. Um, the developer team has actually done an excellent job of coming up with a very bold model of representing a truly multi-cloud overview of uh, uh, your infrastructure environment. What you see on your screen at the moment is the older operations overview, which was uh, very much uh, a vCenter-centric view of uh, what your infrastructure looked like. Uh, this is what the new multi-cloud overview looks like. At the very top of the CUI is different cards representing the different clouds that you could have in your environment. Uh, you, they could be private clouds like vCenter, VMware Cloud Foundation. They could be VMware Clouds like uh, Azure VMware Solution, Oracle Cloud and VM, uh, Oracle Cloud VMware Solution, Google Cloud VMware Engine, VMware uh, Cloud and AWS, uh, or they could also be public clouds like Azure, AWS, or the Google Cloud Platform. Now, the very top of this UI actually shows a geo map of uh, where your cloud is located geographically, along with a uh, top objects view to the right of it that shows you, um, first of all, how many accounts you have for that type of cloud type. So in this case, um, I have the VMware Cloud Foundation selected, so there's one account configured, and uh, the details of the top objects in that Cloud Foundation are displayed to you. As you scroll towards the bottom of this overview page, it shows you a very high-level view of the total cost of ownership of this environment, the capacity and time remaining, as well as an object and growth trend. Um, object and growth trends, excuse me object and alerts uh, growth trend in your VCF environment. Now, if you um, have, say, uh, multiple cloud accounts, then those are also displayed here, uh, where it, sh it shows you the number of uh, cloud accounts and the, the geographic locations of these um, cloud accounts. If for some reason you navigate to um, a cloud account type, where you have no accounts configured, it even gives you a very helpful message and a button directly that takes you to adding or configuring this cloud account type. Uh, so right from within this multi-cloud uh, overview page. Now, once you have done that, then it starts collecting the information for this particular uh, cloud type in your uh, infrastructure. The major highlights of this feature uh, is that the uh, overview page of all the different types of uh, the cloud types on a single page, along with the geolocation capability of these cloud accounts. And uh, there is a new surprise, uh, I guess, uh, feature that also allows you to add a physical data center object uh, to your virtual infrastructure. If you look at this particular instance, uh, you can see that we have created a physical data center called Bangalore uh, Tower 2 Floor 4, which kind of pinpoints the exact geograph geographic location of your virtual infrastructure. And it says that there are three different uh, vCenter servers that are located physically uh, in this particular uh, geographic location of your data center. Uh, how you can create that is by uh, administration. You actually have a new uh, type called physical data centers. And from this physical data center, you can choose to add a, a new physical data center. And the only two types that it allows uh, when configuring, obviously, the virtual uh, data centers that you have in your infrastructure environment, which could be your vCenter servers or your VMware Cloud Foundation. Um, if you look at um, one of these, or if you add more vCenters or VCF instances in, in the future, you can go in and edit an existing physical data center and perhaps add or update based on what changes have happened since the last time you created this physical 
data center. Uh, your actual data center could be called Santa Clara, but it could be physically located in Bengaluru, and you can actually search on the map and uh, um, type in a location, physical location of your uh, data center right here. And you can zero in, narrow down on that, and uh, it shows you the location coordinates of your physical data center. And if you click update, it will um, update this physical data center. Now, once this physical data center is created, you can get to it from this multi-cloud overview page. And you can, if you zoom in on this, you can even expand out um, the types of uh, the actual virtual uh, vCenter servers that are part of this physical data center object. Now, this physical data center object uh, that you saw in this screen here is actually an actual object type, which means that you can look at it uh, from your object browser. And shows you the relations and metrics for this particular object type, which is your physical data center. When you select that object type, it uh, see that it is represented just like any other object type, uh, giving you the details of that object type to the right, any alerts on it. Um, you can go to the metrics tab to see the available metrics. Um, the chart at the top shows you the physical relationships to the actual uh, vCenter servers that are part of this particular um, physical data center that you have created. So I would say overall, kudos to the UX teams, the PM teams, and of course the engineering teams to have made this possible that uh, one of these most asked features uh, are, um, they have made it a reality and it looks really, really great. Uh, if you would ask me now, you might wonder if uh, if the multi-cloud overview is something that is available to all types of users. It is not. If you look under administration and access control, you actually need to give explicit permissions on your role to be able to uh, get to the multi-cloud overview under the home type. There's a multi-cloud overview permission section here. If that is selected, um, or unless you're a super admin, then you would be able to uh, see this multi-cloud overview when you launch your instance of VMware ARIA operations. Hope that helps give you a peek into what uh, this multi-cloud overview is all about.